Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about a reflex that was found to be retained in a hundred percent of kids with ADHD. I was honestly mind blown whenever I learned about this, partially because uh, it's not always the reflex that I think of the most whenever I'm working with kids that have ADHD. There are other reflexes like the Moreau that I definitely always want to look into and others and so forth. And what's really interesting is that it's connected to posture as well as uh, obviously being able to focus and concentrate. And whenever I started thinking about it, it was interesting because if you think about our ability to concentrate and focus just on a really simple level, and, and I, I promise it goes much deeper than this, and, and it's totally research and science-based and so forth, but uh, when we're disengaged, we're really slumpy and just like either laying back or whatever, right? And that's something that I now ask parents whenever I do clarity calls is what is your child's posture like? Because I've I've noticed the longer I'm working in this and even with the kids um, that I used to work with whenever I was teaching full time, that a lot of them who had learning or behavioral difficulties did have poor posture. And uh, so anyways, basically this reflex, the Lando reflex is connected to posture, focus, the ability to concentrate and even have a positive mood. And so if it is integrated, then the pathways connected to focus and memory are, you know, basically activated, if you will. And in infancy, this is uh, this reflex, the Lando reflex is where a baby can lift itself off the ground in terms of just their upper body. And again, these simple little movements that just seem cute or yet trivial are really important. Not only do they develop, does this particular reflex help to develop gross and fine motor skills, which a lot of them do in varying ways. Um, it also helps your child to be able to coordinate the back and front of their body as well as the top and bottom. And um, other research that I've read has found that being able to coordinate, for example, the top and bottom half of the body separately also means that the brain is able to both communicate and work separately and have top to bottom processing. So really, really important and really just uh, the more we can understand how much body movements is related to our ability to process and learn and so forth. So the other thing is that when a child um, lifts their body off the ground, it actually helps to develop their near vision. I talked before in previous videos how developing far vision is developed by other reflexes. Well, the Lando helps to develop near vision and it also helps to really fine tune those vestibular skills. Uh, the vestibular system is developed through all kinds of different primitive reflexes and, and movements that the baby does, which is really important for so much more than balance, right? We've learned about that before. Um, and that also, that movement and that near vision and that lifting itself off the ground and that land of reflex not only helps with near vision, but also 3D vision, as well as detecting vertical and horizontal lines. And so very important in the cases of what some places call visual dyslexia and other places they don't use that term at all. And it's called visual processing disorder, but whatever the case, very important for visual issues as well as ADHD. So this reflex is often referred to as the joy reflex because it generally, when it's not integrated, tends to leave kids with a higher level, if you will, or just there's a huge connection between them having a more, uh, just lower self-esteem, feeling more depressed and feeling more anxious. And when it's integrated, the mood can actually shift. So this is how powerful these reflexes are that are in our lower brain levels in terms of whether they are integrated or not. So in terms of ADHD and, um, you know, we hear a lot about executive functioning. So executive functioning, most of you probably know about that, but that's that ability to plan, organize, impulse control, reason, make decisions, all of those higher order skills that help us and help kids to function, not only in school, but in real life. Well, if the Lando reflex is not integrated, there's gonna be lack of stimulation to the prefrontal cortex, which is behind our forehead basically. And that is where the executive functioning occurs. So it's really acting as a block to that. Um, and so also I just wanna note that this reflex is interesting because uh, you really wanna be able to screen properly and so forth because it's 
very much linked to the spinal gallant reflex, which I talked about before. Again, one that's often active in kids with ADHD where they'll be fidgety and so forth. So both the spinal gallant and the Lando will contribute to poor focus um, and, and fidgetiness and all of that type of stuff. So um, also it can affect memory. So short-term memory in particular, these are the kids where they might learn phonics sounds at school or a math formula or some kind of math facts, if you will, at school and they think they've got it. It's not that they are not bright, but the short-term memory is not there. So then what happens is maybe by dinner time or homework time at home, they have forgotten or they don't really retain or they don't retain to the next day. And parents will say that to me often. It just feels like we just went through this and he had it. Like, how could he forget this so easily? And Lando is very much connected to that uh, short-term memory. So the other thing is I have mentioned, I talked, I believe it was last week about the TLR, the tonic labyrinthine reflex. And um, if the Lando reflex is not integrated, then it will, it's very likely that it will affect the integration of the TLR reflex. So this is why I always say it's really important to get a proper screening, to know what you're doing so that you're doing the right action at the right time so that you're not doing a do-it-yourself approach and totally discouraged thinking nothing is working for my child, even a root cause approach. Um, when you do the right action, you do it correctly, you do the right screening and, and, and the right steps that it can definitely work, which is what I do in my full potential formula, this, my, my six month program. So as mentioned, it really helps to coordinate the upper and lower parts of the body. Uh, and if it's unintegrated, the other thing that we might see is just difficulty with body movements, uh, even hand-eye coordination. And if that can, if that's strong enough, or if the reflex is uh, retained enough, as you know, hand-eye coordination um, has is often poor hand-eye coordination is very much connected to uh, reading difficulties and writing difficulties like dyslexia and dysgraphia. So you might be wondering at this point, like what are the signs of, um, you know, a retained Lando reflex? So I'm gonna go through them. And again, doesn't mean your child's gonna have all of them. I like to create a kind of really clear list um, of different things that we see. The big thing though is focus, posture, and memory diagnosis of ADHD or suspicions of ADHD. Um, but other interesting things are things like toe walking. It's really common for these kids to be toe walkers. The reflex will sometimes even cause kids to have tight calves, which will then be the thing that can cause them to have toe walking or to just have um, atypical walk or body movement. Again, not the case in all kids, but definitely a factor. Uh, I mentioned diagnosis of ADHD, right? And how the Lando is considered the joy reflex. So just being connected to self-esteem, depression, anxiety, all that type of stuff. They might also have, um, again, connected to that executive functioning, poor organizational skills, poor planning skills. Um, you know, I mentioned short-term memory and all of that type of stuff. And obviously posture looking like things like difficulty sitting up straight or maintaining the ability to sit up straight for, for a while. And um, vision issues, whether it's 3D vision, whether it's near vision, and so forth. Um, basic, keeping the head upright in general. So some kids, like, they kind of keep their back straight, but their, their neck kind of goes forward. Um, and, and again, just issues with coordination and so forth. So if you want to check to see if your child might have a retained Lando at, at home, and I say might because these tests are never definitive. There are lots of kids that do a, a physical screening and they have a lot of markers of a retained Lando, but for whatever reason, they're able to kind of override their uh, body movement in that moment. However, uh, do try this and it might give you some, some insight. Have your child lay on their belly on the floor. Um, and it's kind of like they're doing the Superman where their arms are out in front of them. So you're going to have them lay on their belly, arms stretched out in front of them straight. And you're going to tell them to raise the upper half of their body, but the lower half of their body. So their legs and their feet are staying on the ground. This is not easy for a lot of kids. And it's often a lot of my clients, particularly the ones with ADHD that have a hard time doing this. It's almost easier to do a full Superman where the whole body is kind of curved up and the, the, the arms are up and the, the legs and feet are up. Trying to do just the arms and upper body and keep the other half on the ground 
uh, can be a lot trickier for these kids. And that's where we know that top to bottom processing in the brain, as well as body coordination is off and therefore could be causing uh, problems and so forth with their ability to focus, to retain, to, to memorize, um, to move about, you know, accurately and, and fluidly in their world and so forth. So let me know if you suspect your child has a retained Lando reflex, if uh, they have any of these signs, what signs they have. And please let me know in the comments below whether you're watching the live or the replay. Uh, after, if you have your child do this test, let me know how it went. Uh, let me know what the results were and so forth. I'm always curious to hear. It's always really interesting. Um, and often it's an insight for parents for sure. So uh, if you enjoyed this, do grab my free starter kit. I'll post that in the link below um, it, or in the comments below. Post the link in the comments below. It's uh, the Laser Focus Learner has some tidbits in terms of um, where to start with food to make sure your child is getting, you know, a good start, particularly in the morning, as well as exercises that are just really good starter exercises for all kids. So you can grab that and do check out my, um, uh, six month program, the full potential formula. If you are interested in participating and joining that, uh, do book a free clarity call and we can chat. Thanks for watching.